Never do something that'll catch up to you You did me wrong and told me lies Baby, you hurt me so bad now, baby All right, y'all Woo! She still got it I'm at Z103 in Atlanta with my girl, Egypt Because we're doing a Curvado plus size model search Curvado Curvado Yes. This is your plus size. My plus size line. Line. Curvado in Italian means curve. Curve, baby. Tell everybody about it. Curvado, first of all, I have to say, for the longest time, I would be in a situation where the label or stylist would be like, oh, we have to get something made for you. Uh, but then I started getting real creative with it, and I'm just like, just because I'm big does not mean that I can't be absolutely fabulous and beautiful. That's right. So it really is a labor of love. I've been working on Curvado really since the beginning of my career. First of all, skinny don't mean pretty, and I learned that the hard way. The label literally... They made you lose weight? Girl, I was at fat camps. At 24 years old, I had a tummy tuck, which actually meant that they cut my stomach across the middle from hip to hip. And you were 24? I was 24 years old. See, that bothers me. Some of the decisions I made as a younger girl, rather than hold those things in or try to hide them, I want to share them with as many women, in particular young women, as possible. So, all right, Curvado plus size modeling call. Plus Where's size it going to be? Call. What's the number to call? Bam. I'm a little nervous about going on air to make this announcement because every step I take towards this launch, the more real it becomes. All the curvy divas in Atlanta, I don't care if you are a size 12 That's or you are a size 28. Shanty. If you've got it and you can walk, honey, this call is for you. We're going to be at area from 545 to 745. We are looking for the face of Curvado. Nikki Gilbert Brownstone, Big 103 baby. is the people's station. I invited all the divas to my house today to announce that I wanted to have a fabulous Mother's Day brunch. So I brought everyone here because I have an announcement to make. Oh, another now. <laughs> I'm with child. Psych. Another idea, you know, I always have these ideas, and I was thinking that for Mother's Day, we could all get together and have a fabulous brunch for those of us who have our kids here. Um, Kimmy's coming to see me for Mother's Day. Oh, I'm really excited that my daughter Kimmy is coming. It's been a really long time since Faith and Nikki have seen a Kimmy. She was yay hot. Trying to be cool. She worked. She well, cool. She actually just got out of school, but she's going to be waiting for me to get back because oh, she's, right, she's right, watching right. the boys. Yeah. So Aww. I get back. So. Being here in Atlanta without my kids is way different for me. I am a mother of four. China's 19. She just finished her first year of college. So I got quite a lot going on back at home. All right, well, she'll be there in spirit. But, you know, it's going to be outside, poolside. We're actually going to have music and food and cool. drum roll. This is the part I'm really excited about. So y'all know I've been working on these plus-size clothes. Yeah. Curvado, right? I'm going to do a preview. You're doing like a fashion show. Though. Well, yeah, like a mini fashion show. Oh, like there are going to okay. be, yes. Uh, and Selena. I know that you have had some experience modeling for some other plus size vendors, so would you please <laughs> do the honors of being so my finale piece? Sure. Now look, Michael, since you're a part of the crew now, you would be classified what? as a wait, 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 wait. Is he officially a part of the crew? Like I just gotta I just wanna know. Like so anywhere you go, this is Michael gonna be there. That's it. Like it's never gonna be like just one, you know two, what? three, four, five, like ever. I know the baby, you got the baby. I know that's, you know, you like eight I mean, it can be one, pregnant. two, three, four. No. Okay, no, no, no. That's a real no, whack no, answer. No. Okay, that's I got it, though. What they need to realize is wherever I am, he is. So, get over it. He really, he's my reality. This is my reality. This is my real this life. Is this your is your other what, side. This is yeah. what I do, for real. He's right. with me all the time. I don't want to be away from him because I'm afraid he's going to cheat on me. I'm afraid he's going to lie to me. And I'm afraid he's gonna leave me and stay gone. I don't trust men because the last one I had lied. Left me alone all the time. 
and he cheated. What happened was I was with old buddy, stabbed him. Them people, in self-defense, because right. he was trying to kill your ass. Right. But, of course, people don't want to see it like that. All they want to say is, reek, reek, reek. I had a marriage where it was domestic violence going on, and I did stab the guy, but I was just trying to save my life. And when you're in that situation, and you know you have a baby in the other room, and the last thing you want to do is let your baby walk in on a dead mommy. You're going to do whatever it takes. People act like they didn't want to play my record because and of that ignorant. situation. I Everybody has nice that attachment. I'm the girl that sings with Brownstone. She the girl that was signed by Heavy. She the girl that was with Diddy. So that we all have that sort of thing, but you got to just yeah. break that down because you can see. But mine went from one to another. It went from the girl that sang with Avant to the girl that stabbed her husband. The Damn, can I just be Kiki? I was just watching the behind the music, Big's behind the music before we got here. And you know, I guess I'm so immune to the stuff because I'm just me. I don't really, right. I be bugging, like I be forgetting about a bunch of that right, stuff right. until. So I'm like, you know, do you know all the stuff or things people have thought or said about me? People said that I started this mm -hmm. war against mm -hmm. Tupac. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're never going to be able to please people. And that's not what your goal should be. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You're not gonna if you're you coming from the right place, you cannot go wrong, I swear. Just like her, there are certain stigmas that come with my name. I mean, people seem to think, oh, Kiki Wyatt, that's the girl who stabbed her husband, right? Oh, Faith Evans, she was married to Biggie, or Faith Evans, she was this. But one thing that I've learned, and that's tomorrow they'll be talking about something else, and I could care less. How can you really worry about people that don't even know you? Don't even waste your time. What you got? Cause I ain't got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got verses and hook. Okay. And the bridge is still open. Sometimes I feel like being pregnant and working is, you know, a little overwhelming. But it's okay because I don't mind. That's the hook. This right here is the entire hook. Repeat it. <laughs> but when Michael's like on my shoulders like a monkey, it's like. You gotta do this. Why don't you like the lyrics on that hook? It's not that I don't like the lyrics. I just think the lyrics could have been a little bit stronger. Okay. I, mean, it's like, Yo, I don't like that. I mean, it's okay. But say the truth. Baby, you work for me. No, we work together. No, you work for me. Boo. <laughs> the Kiki Wyatt brand. Put a lot of emphasis on, on I love don't, you. Don't start this. Put a lot of emphasis on I don't love start you. That. Quit playing. Get in there and work. Mm, I love you. No, you don't. A lot of emphasis on I love you. <laughs> You're the reason for my living. Without you, babe, I'm nothing. I love you. I love you. I love when you're in the studio doing your thing. You sound good. I'm waiting till you get done so I can give you my tidbit of information. Yo, tiggo bitty information. Say tidbit. Oh. Not tiggo bit. Tidbit. <laughs> I'll always keep you within. I'll never lose this feeling. I love you. And I hope you feel the same way about this love. No, that's the part right there, Keith. Okay, it's gonna go. I hope you feel the same about this love. Okay, well, I can do it like you, Doc. Like. Whatever. I love you. I hope you feel hey, the same. Hey, and watch your timing. Hey, Michael, this is mm -hmm. you. And just be on it. I always keep you with me. All right, thank you. Hold on, uh, Miss Thing, honey. Y'all look close. Uh -oh. <laughs> Get your hand off my man now. Y'all laughing, but I'm serious. I'm in the booth recording, and I see some Miss Thing Honey Child girl booby gone go kill yourself all up on my husband. And I can't believe you didn't say, excuse me, a move, a, a she move. Was, she wasn't girl, that so. close. Now, everybody that knows me knows, mm -mm, not, not Kiki's man. 
Michael, that wasn't cool. It wasn't like that. Yes, it was. Well, lawyer, no. was, first of all. I was it sitting there like on that. the mic looking in there. I saw My it. My titties went all on me like that. You My know what? Went on me. Okay. All I'm right. You seeing this stuff? No, I'm not. What the hell am I supposed to do in this situation? Shut up. Not me. I don't like it. Okay. Period. All right. Let me stay. Let me all right, let the tables be turned. Next <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I'm just all good. I'm just understanding. She's so fast, emotional. We'll be all right. That she's pregnant, so it's so it's the pregnancy talking. You know. I'm not dramatic, and I'm not crazy, and I know what the hell I saw. It was inappropriate, and it was out of place. I can't believe you, and you act like I'm tripping. It's not that you tripping, it's just a time Whether, and place for everything. And it, that was showed the f not the time nor the place, period. It really wasn't that deep. At it that was moment, for me. But at that moment, it wasn't that deep. We working. I don't give a damn if we was uh, dreaming. I don't care if we was at church and the <laughs> pastor was preaching. That's too much. Okay. Everybody in the room's like, oh, Kiki. Oh, my God. Only you see it. It ain't all of that. You tell me that that wasn't too much. I mean, I understand where you're coming from. But Michael's telling me that I'm crazy, which is hurting my feelings because well, it's making me feel... Probably more or less trying to avoid a situation because you know how upset you can get. So a lot of times we okay, may, but might try to was... use the situation and say, okay, sweetie, it really wasn't that. We're trying to keep your head focused as to what we're doing. I just, I hate being me. It just, it sucks being me, I swear. Mm -hmm. The last bastard hurt me so bad now just take it out on everybody but even if he never hurt me mm -hmm. if he never did that that was inappropriate okay. and I'm not crazy oh, yeah. I live in constant fear every moment of the day I'm afraid that if Michael's not with me he's with somebody else or if he is with me he's looking at somebody else or somebody else wants him it's so frustrating I got some serious issues. Do -do 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 -do. So, Nikki, are you looking for the face of Carvado? Yes, I'm looking for the face of Carvado. I'm looking for also the personality. It's about the confidence. I know that ATO has a ton of big, sexy, curvy, beautiful women, and I'm hoping and praying that they all come out and audition for Carvado. Okay. And I was in the mixed fashion team pageant. <laughs> I won Miss Fashion Teen and I was only eight years old. My first runner up was like 13. And here comes this little eight year old girl who never even been in one. They asked each judge, ask you one question. Well, you had to do an essay on what makes you a fashionable teen. Everyone. Okay. So, oh, I mean, what, okay. what, makes, what you makes you a curvy, what curvy what girl? Right. Curvy diva. Okay. Okay. All right, Robin, I need you to really bring it, okay? I'm going to get you to walk all the way straight to the door and then come up to the line. A plus-size model can hit the runway just like she was modeling for Victoria's Secret. What makes you a Carvado girl? I mean, look at me. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All I could think, honestly, was thanks. The casting call for Nikki's Carvado line is very interesting. Lots of characters. She was just, honey, walking like, I don't know. She was just walking. Pretty girl, very pretty girl. But all I was thinking when she was walking towards us like this, you told her for to beat me. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh, hell no. First thing, thank you. Like, I didn't know to smile at her or to let her know that you are a hot mess on a Sunday morning. Hi. 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 What is your name? My name is Zakija Jordan Bradley. Okay, you're going to have to say that for me one more time <laughs> slowly. Zakija Jordan Bradley. Okay, pretty girl. Let's see what you got. Okay. Zakija. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't apologize. Something about her, I just connected to. Is that okay? It was okay. Okay. 
but we want fabulous. Yes, ma'am. And what makes you a fabulous, curvy, curvado girl? I think I would be a good candidate because when I was young, I used to be teased all the time because I've always had a big butt, you know, and I want to be that inspiration that I really yearn for. You know, I like I that. Awesome. I want you to stick around, yes, but while you're out there waiting, mm -hmm. I want you to walk and I want you to think fabulous, fabulous. I am I, the rhythm in your head should be, I am a fabulous, sexy, curvy, curvado girl. Yes, All right, boo. All Thank right. you. Thank you. Some of the ladies are really bringing in honey to the catwalk. Honey, you're in. All right. Thank you. Selena, I think she done walked you out of your finale, boo. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. Can you bring in the other ladies? After seeing all the ladies walk, it was a difficult decision to cut some of the women. Once we call your name, if you could step front and center for me. Robin. If I could have them all, even the ones that needed to be taught or that sexiness needed to be pulled out of them. Tammy. Then I would have definitely taken them all because there's already this stigma that you're not good enough because you're curvy. Where's my little baby? Sakidra? Yes. Why are you looking nervous, honey? I'm not. <laughs> so go to that exit sign. Yes, ma'am. And whenever you're ready, I want you to show us what you're working with, boo. See what I'm talking about, bitches? Bravo, boo. Bravo. And I want you to keep practicing. Yes, ma'am. Because the real thing is happening very, very soon. And ain't no redos. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Curvado Girls Rock. One, two, three. Curvado Girls Rock! That's what I'm talking about. I was 19 when my daughter, Kemi, was born. I was in the throes of my career. I was, you know, moving and shaking, having a blast. Was away from my daughter a lot. The maternal thing didn't kick in with me for a long time. Nikki has this big Mother's Day thing planned, and all the kids are going to be there, and I'm so glad my baby's here. I don't even know what to do. I'm, I'm so excited. Probably like the first time we've done anything really for Mother's Day. Together, yeah. yeah. Mm hmm so. Yeah. Akemi and I are rediscovering one another and restoring our relationship. I'm excited to meet everybody. Yeah, you, that's right. You haven't met anybody. Is anyone else my age? Wendy. Mm -hmm. Nikki's daughter. I don't remember her. Yeah. <laughs> I know you. I'm you're, horrible with that. I don't know what that is. Probably because you blocked out half your childhood because no. of me. <laughs> no. It was pretty rough for you, huh? You know, at the time, I was very, I guess, lonely. I wasn't there. And, yeah. I wasn't You present. know. When Akemi was younger, I would be in bed all day. I was depressed. I was always, you know, drinking. And I used cocaine for seven years. In the beginning, I was too young to mm -hmm. know what was going on with you. Right. It might not have been easy to tell, but my spirit was dying. When you're young, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know a daggone thing. And I was still selfish, and I was st it was still all about me. When did things start really piecing back together? Oh. When I chose to live, you saved my life. What made me get clean, it wasn't up until about two years ago that I decided that I wanted to live. I got tired one day. I asked God just to keep me alive because I knew that this wasn't going to be the rest of my life. And God put something in me that if, it, if I couldn't do it for me, I could do it for my child. She saved my life. I was like, I don't want to leave my baby like my dad left me. 
My dad passed away in his office from a heroin overdose. I was nine years old. Uh, I was close to my dad. That would kill, I can't even imagine that, you know? So. I just, that's the, the only thing that like, that kept me going, like that just made me, cause I was like, I can't leave her, I can't. Like, no. I had too much to give you and I, and I just chose to live. And I'm glad I had you cause I held on to you. And now, I'm a year and a couple of months clean and proud. <laughs> on the connection as mother and daughter, we're really rediscovering and restoring our relationship. And I just wanted to know like what your feelings are uh, about uh, Therese's and I's relationship. My daughter is saved. She has a serious relationship with God. And I asked the Kimmy about her thoughts about my relationship with Therese. I always check in just because. You know, I feel like the word is the word and the Bible is clear about homosexuality. And I believe that homosexuality is basically a brokenness in our sexuality. Can you support our connect, our union? I don't, I don't support it. I take it she doesn't support the carnal connection. It goes against what she believes. Now you know that I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, but like I love the Lord. What I feel is right, what I feel like, I have to stand by that, and you know? I, so I totally understand that. Just have different views. Does it hurt? Like, it hurts? Like, no. It's, I, I'm actually very proud of you. Like, I'm sitting here like, you know, I, I really respect that. And I have to because... Yeah. I have to. Yeah. forward to the Mother's Day brunch. I know Akemi is here to see Monifa. Brandy's here, Selena's children are here, of course Kiki's babies are here. So we have to figure out a way to make sure that my girl Faye is not the only one who doesn't have her children with her. So listen, I have a really super cool idea that I hope that you are down with and available for. You know I'm launching this plus size clothing line, Carvado, and you okay. have grown into such a little sexy, curvy diva and so confident, and I would love for you to model. Absolutely love to. I would love to. And here's the biggest part of it. It is Mother's Day, and your mom has no idea, so I want it to be a really big Mother's Day surprise, so you have to promise me that you keep it a secret. <laughs> I guarantee. Okay. My little secret surprise is ready to go. I think they're going to be shocked, surprised, and very happy. Hola, Chica! Hey, girl. How are you? Today, Ileana, my seamstress, is coming to my house to show me where we are in terms of our progress. I'm a little nervous. I got you. <laughs> this is like sink or swim. All I've seen to date are sketches and fabric swatches. So I'm really, really nervous about some of the fabric choices. Got a lot of nervous tension going on right now. This one, I was concerned measurement-wise, we need to make sure the sleeves... The sleeves are longer. This V maybe should be a little bit deeper, you think? What's the problem here? That right there. Because these divas will be pointing out every mm -hmm. single solitary detail, uh -huh. and that has got to be right. Is this my black oath? Yes. Now, does this come off the shoulders? Oh, no, Ileana. No, this goes. As I'm seeing Ileana pull the pieces out of the garment bags, I'm a little nervous because I'm looking at things on the hanger and I'm just like, ah, okay. I have to hey. cover this. Hey, baby. This is my simple tribal shirt oh, dress. Lord. This is the back, it's right? Snug. No, that's, that's the front. Not... But that is a cute idea. Yeah, this should be the back. That is a very cute Look at you. I like oh, that. Yeah. My little mini me. Miss Brandy actually has a pretty good suggestion about one of my pieces. <laughs> Thank you very much, boo. She's got a lot on her plate. And you got another Nobody. show that you're trying to do on the same day as mine? Yeah. Are we absolutely certain that we're going to be? Definitely, yes. You we'll got make me. it happen. You come through in the clutch. 
but that's yes. a lot. I'm very, very nervous because we've got a lot of work to do and a little bit of time. I need her to be there to do what I asked her to do. More importantly, when I asked her to do it. Everybody in this space, nobody is not clear on what they're wearing. Did anybody else have alterations? I think I got everybody with alterations. You had alterations, Mary, you need to try your, your thing on. Let's move, we gotta move fast, y'all. We making some last minute changes. I need this, the jacket. Ah, so I gotta, you think you can get in that? I'm putting these pieces on the ladies and I'm getting a little concerned because the pieces are not fitting the way I want them to. Damn, I'm mad about that. Where's my Ileana when I damn need her? <laughs> I'm mad the outfit is not complete. I'm missing pieces. I need that cream dress seemed like immediately. As soon as you get Jaquim, tell him I need to know where Ileana is immediately. I need her like now. It would be really nice if I could have my seamstress, but she ain't here. As I'm walking into the mansion, I'm looking around and I'm just like, this is so beautiful. I hope my kids don't tear this house up. Come on, what you got? I get to the Mother's Day brunch and I feel really excited because this is the first time all the ladies and their families are going to be together. Hey! This is not the baby baby. Oh, that is the baby baby. Selena's family is here and it's the first time I'm actually meeting her baby who I realize is not quite a baby anymore. Time goes by so fast. Jaquine! I need, Jaquine, I need to know where Ileana is right now. I okay. need her here right now. Now. Okay. Some things just were not fitting the way I had planned at all. Ileana. Okay, I know you're extremely busy, but Ileana called. Tell her I need her here. Now. now. Okay. We started, baby. We waiting on you, honey. You were supposed to have been here. Nikki, she said she won't be able to be here for an hour. Okay, whatever. This woman is still at her house three hours after she's supposed to be at the location. This is that one shot, and we gotta do that shot right. The models are not dressed ready or fully made up, and it has to go without a hitch. There can be no excuses. Kiki arrives with her crew. Hi. Nice to meet you. And boy, are they a handful. Okay, oh, oh, my bag, oh. Okay, I smell food, oh. and it smells good. But they are just such a gorgeous family. Hi, hello. Hi. I can't believe it when I see Akemi. I haven't seen her since she was like a toddler. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. It's so great to see all the kids having a good time. But I have to admit, I'm a little sad being here without my family. I'm sharing her with you today. Since China's not here. It's very interesting to see all the ladies with their children because you get to see a different side of us. I hadn't seen Selena or Kiki with their children before, so this is cool for me and, I, and vice versa. Oh, uh, Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Stop. You can't okay, bite the glass. Oh my God, look at him. Boy, let it go. I'm not gonna let your meat go. You better let it go. I love my babies, but they can get on my nerves sometimes. He still has water in his mouth. He, he just swallow water. that water. Don't read the program. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be like this, and it's just not working. So far, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. This is why you have your seamstress, and she has to be reliable, and she has to show the because she did not show up today and that's a major problem so i'm running around doing a million things but the one most precious piece of cargo and the secret of all secrets is china where is my china <laughs> don't don't make don't Hi, Mickey. <laughs> i haven't seen china in a very long time and to know how surprised Faith would be was just, you know, really special for me. Your mother is going to lose her mind. <laughs> okay, you did not say anything. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go. What you wearing? Okay, so you're making a statement piece. Okay. You're going last. Okay. Okay. And I want you to make the statement. Okay. I want you to own it. 
Take whatever time. Try not to break down because your mom's probably going to react. You okay? I'm good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Ileana shows up just before we're about to do the walk. Whether or not there is a future for Ileana in this Curvado brand, I think the future is bleak. to the preview collection of Cavado. Are you guys excited to see what Nikki has put together? Yeah. Yeah. I give you Cavado. Come on out, ladies! Rock the out of these clothes. came together pretty well for Nikki. We got some good models, ladies with a lot of confidence and a lot of body, baby, honey. <laughs> you can't move. I got to get a picture of this. Uh-uh, down. Wait, wait, down. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 Wait, wait, wait. I'm coming. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> I am so proud of Nikki. I'm cat calling and doing all kinds of stuff. I'm having a blast. I think the clothes are great. Andre, I think Michael like her because he won't look at her. Yeah. Yeah. They looking at everybody else, but he won't look at her. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, you just had to get that glimpse, didn't you? I was so proud of Zakidra. Boy, did she do it. It's an amazing leap. Tens across the board, honey. Tens across the board. Turn around stop, so you can see darling. Right there, baby. Stop right there. Work. Darling. Work. I need the front, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Work. 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 And then I'm looking again, and I really like. Is that my girl? Oh my God! Yes! That is China. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> what is she doing? Oh, that's so dope! Wait a minute. <laughs> what are you doing? Here comes my China doll. So that was just a wonderful feeling for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was so happy for Faith. I was so happy that China was there. That was an awesome, awesome surprise. Wait, sit down to my left. <laughs> I know this has been a long day. Do y'all like this? We love it. Yeah. This is high. <laughs> Can y'all stand up, please? And mommies, too. These three belong to us three, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was just really crazy for me to see grown women. <laughs> <laughs> so, woo, so to see them beautiful and healthy and strong, they're amazing. And China, Absolutely. you want to say something to your mommy? Oh. <laughs> I, I hope you were surprised. Were you surprised? I was. <laughs> Mom, I love you. I, um, this is my big Mother's Day gift. <laughs> fresh out of freshman year of college. <laughs> 
So I'm looking at China's face, and she was smiling so hard. I could tell she was happy to be there and just happy to surprise her mom because I haven't seen her in a few months. She's, she's been in college, so that was a wonderful surprise. I love you so much. Aww. Mother. <laughs> I, um, I love you. I love you dearly. I love you, and you know that, and I'm so happy that you know that now, you know? because of everything that we've gone through. I'm so fortunate for this time in our lives and what God is doing. And um, I'm just, I'm so grateful. When Kemi is speaking to me, I feel amazing. I feel, I feel grateful. And I know that God is working in both of our lives. I'm, I, 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 Happy Mother's Day! Yay. This Mother's Day is the most unforgettable, joyous, joy-filled Mother's Day I've ever had. Ever. All right, go! Be. <laughs> <laughs>